Hello, my name is Luis Morales and I'm running for Alderman at Large here in the All-America city of Somerville. As the only challenger in this race against four incumbents, people ask me why in these difficult times Somerville voters should consider making a change and give me one of their four votes as Alderman at Large. The answer to this question is about my experience as a resident, as a parent, as a local business owner, and as a community leader in Somerville, I ask you to come and join me on a short tour of my Somerville story to understand how I have the experience, knowledge, and vision to be an alderman for all Somerville. Like generations of Somerville residents before me, I came to the United States to achieve the freedom and opportunity promised under American democracy. I was born and raised in El Salvador, a country that experienced a brutal civil war in the beginning of 1979. I was only 16 years old at the time and I refused to take up arms for either side in the conflict. Knowing that I would likely be killed if I stayed in El Salvador, my parents made the difficult decision to send me to the United States where I was granted political asylum as a war refugee. I had just finished my ninth grade when I came to Somerville. I spoke no English and I had no clue what the weather was like in New England. But I was determined to take advantage of the opportunity that the government of the United States, uh, States had given me. I struggled with housing, moving from one apartment to the other, moving from Somerville to Cambridge, Cambridge to East Boston. But it was only for short periods of time. But eventually, uh, we ended up moving to the house behind me, 13 people used to share the same apartment. Despite the challenges before me in this early years, I worked hard to learn English and gain full U.S. citizenship. While a Cambridge resident, I enrolled in Cambridge Rinch and Latin School, where I achieved my high school diploma. Public education was a defining part of my life. Uh, this experience helped me understand how government in the United States can be a positive force for improving people's lives. For the past 30 years I have lived in Somerville and 12 of those years I have lived right here on Shore Drive in Ten Hills with my wife Blanca and uh, this is where I have raised my uh, two kids, Luis Jr. and my daughter Caris. Having both rented and owned a home in Somerville I know the challenges uh, working families face in Somerville, especially in recent decades, as Somerville has experienced significant commercial and residential development. I believe the city of Somerville uh, must do more to protect all residents from displacement. As your alderman at large, I will advocate for city regulations that expand affordable rental and home ownership opportunities for all residents. Somerville is fortunate to have developed into a regional entertainment and cultural destination in recent decades. This provides jobs to local residents and commercial tax revenue to help sustain city services. As a business owner in Somerville, I'm proud to be a part of uh, the vibrant local business uh, community in our city. It was in 1983 when I was uh, 19 uh, when I opened my first Mexican Salvadorian restaurant in East Cambridge. Uh, since then I have opened uh, several businesses and at the same time I have helped a lot of people to open their own businesses as well. I have created a lot of jobs especially in Somerville. Most recently I have opened Maya Soul on Lower Broadway and I'm humbled by the recognition uh, I have received from State Representative Tim Toomey who sponsored a resolution from uh, uh, the Massachusetts State House that uh, commended me for my contribution to the local community. To ensure a strong future for our city and uh, all its residents Policymakers in Somerville must work to strengthen our diverse small businesses. Unfortunately, recent action by Traffic Commission have acted in opposition to these goals. Higher rates and increased hours at local parking meters will dissuade people from visiting Somerville from other parts of the region. 
and will have a devastating impact on Somerville's economy by decreasing revenue for vital city services. As your alderman at large, I will work for sensible municipal budget priorities that prevent short-term decisions that put our long-term interests at risk. Some of all must create new lasting revenue streams that avoid high fees and taxes on some of all residents and businesses. And I am also a pastor and founder of Vida Real Church in Winter Hill, and our building is on the list of historical places in the city of Somerville, and we work together with the Historical Commission to preserve its traditional character. As leader of the congregation, I have developed a strong community service program, teaching members to give back to the broader Somerville community. As your alderman at large, I cannot promise to agree with all residents on all issues, However, I will strive to listen to stakeholders on all sides of issues before the Board of Aldermen. I will work to bring new voices into the political process to make sure Somerville City Government really works for all Somerville residents. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my story. I hope you agree that I have the experience, knowledge and vision to be your Alderman at large. If you would like to get involved in my campaign, please email or call. Most importantly, I ask for your vote on November the 3rd. Thank you.